hello guys and welcome to my channel in today's video we're gonna be learning english with the genius michael schofield from the tv series prison break this story started when michael's brother was arrested and sentenced to death for a crime that he didn't even commit so his genius brother michael was putting plans and trying to break him out of prison so it's gonna be fun to learn english while watching this tv series you're gonna learn new vocabs and new accents so before we start don't forget to subscribe to my channel and now let's get into the video dog numerous times i've been apprehended while trying to elude the authorities it's always because of the damn dogs turns out you can run just about everything in your life except your own particular stink theodore's right man we gotta scrub down our cells. What about our bunks? Pillows, sheets, everything. Either get rid of your smell or change it. Huh? Three days. That's as soon as I can get us into the guard room for PI. You think you'll have the extra suits by then? Probably. They should be here tomorrow. Good. So we're good to go. All we got left is figuring out how to get through that door in the infirmary. Get Link out of that box. You can do that in three days. Three days should be plenty of time. Dogs. Numerous times. Word number one, numerous, which means large numbers or many. For example, if I want to say many problems, instead of saying many, I replace it with numerous. So it should be numerous problems. Or as another example, I visited this museum numerous times, which means more than one time or many times. Apprehended while trying to Ill Word number two apprehended when someone is being apprehended that means that he gets caught by the police so genuinely apprehended has the same meaning as caught I'm trying to elude the other word number three elude if you elude someone or something that means that you are avoiding them or to escape from them in another way you can say to get away and in this scene theodore's point was that all his plans to get away from the police was being caught because of the dogs. The authorities, it's always because. Word number four, authorities. An authority is an official organization that has the power to make decisions. So an authority can command and control other people. Turns out you can run just about everything in your life except your own particular stink. Word number five, stink. The stink means to smell very bad we gotta scrub down ourselves word number six scrub when you scrub something that means that you rub it hard in order to clean it or to remove a dirt from it down our cells word number seven cells cells are the small rooms that prisoners are locked in what about our bunks hello seat word number eight bunk a bunk is a narrow small bed that is usually attached to a wall or super close to the wall. Usually it is used in ships and jails. Hello, sheets, everything. Word number nine, sheets. A sheet is a large rectangular piece of cotton that is used to sleep on or to cover yourself with in a bed. Or change it. Huh? Three days, that's as soon as I can get us into the guard room for PI. You think you'll have the extra suits by then? Probably, they should be here tomorrow. Good, so we're good to go. All we got left is figuring out how to get through that door in the infirmary. Word number 10 and the last word for today, infirmary. An infirmary is a place that is used to take care of people who are sick or injured, like in schools or any institution like here in prison and now it's time for the quiz try to think about the answers before we solve them and now let's begin i'm gonna start with the sentences sentence number one something smells bad if something smells bad that means that it stinks so it should be stink number two to rub something in order to clean it when you want to remove a dirt from somewhere or to clean its place, you use a brush and start rubbing and scrubbing hard to remove it, so it should be scrub. Sentence number three has the same meaning as bed, 
but the only difference is that it's closer to the wall than the usual beds and it is used in ships and jails so it should be bunk and now it's time for exercise number two our first word is many if we want to say for example many problems instead of saying many we can replace it with numerous number two to avoid if you want to escape or to avoid someone or something you can replace avoid with elude to elude number three rooms for prisoners the small rooms for prisoners are called cells that was the video for today i hope you liked it and don't forget to write these vocabs down and start memorizing them and if you liked this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.